Hello and welcome back to another episode of the conversion of Lifeboat Hooger. This week I'll be putting some floorboards down and starting the frame for the sofa and doing another couple of frames for the insulation. Most of it will be fast forward. Hope you enjoy. Before I can start work on the floor and make a start with the frame for the sofa, I need to empty the space. It seems I am forever moving things from one place to the next and back again. Even with all the space inside there is no way around it. The biggest challenge seems to be to remember where I put things and try to keep things in some kind of order as a lot of time can be wasted by having to look for things time and time again. I am using strips of 100mm PIR insulation to fill the cavity under the floor. I will try and fill all the voids and use spray foam to fill any leftover space and use it to glue all the bits together and support the floorboards to make them as solid as they can be. I am assuming no water will get to it, so not too worried about using the spray foam for this purpose. I am using polyurethane mastic on the beams to stick down the floorboards and they will be screwed down as well.
like I said it's good to get some stuff in permanently um, there's some solid insulation underneath and just filling the gap with some spray foam which is not ideal because they say it takes on water but um, I think it should be all right and So, a quick look at what I've done today. I've built part of the frame, put a side bit in, letting this all dry for today, let it set, crack on with it another day. So, I'll be putting in some more framework uh, for the insulation. And uh, as I mentioned before, uh, the frames are built up of 13 layers of nine mil ply um, the reason for that is that they're easily bent you can put them in in situ which makes work a lot faster instead of having to make a mold and then fit them in plus even though the boat looks like it's kind of even it has got some lumps and bumps which you can take out by just laminating the frames in in situ um, nine mil ply because it's thick enough to give you some progress and thin enough to be easily bent because it's quite a steep a steep curve as you can see on the frames and um, the width I decided on by um, well in the in the center they're wider frames as you can see to give it a bit more strength further forward the thinner frames because of the shape of the boat and also um, to save some uh, wood, really. Um, I could have put in wider frames all the way along, apart from the forward cabin, where they definitely need to be thinner, because otherwise they won't do the, the curve the way they should be doing. For laminating the frames, I am using a waterproof wood glue and also screws to make them strong and solid. The 13 layers are to get enough thickness for the 100 mm of insulation that goes in in two layers of 50 mm each. Hello, if you made it to this part of the video, it means you watched the whole thing. Thank you very much for that. If you enjoyed it, please subscribe and like and hope to see you next week. Bye.